1964, Walt Disney sent a new ride to the New York World's Fair, one piece at a time. Originally called Children of the World, the ride featured children from around the globe singing the theme song in their own language. Over 10 million people enjoyed that attraction before it was loaded up and traveled back to be installed at Disneyland in Anaheim, California, the ride now known as Small World. The theme emphasizes a commonality found among humanity through the differences of culture and language. Now, I've seen that commonality so often in the eyes of children from place to place. I've seen it expressed in the desires of so many parents, co-workers, and neighbors. And in our current state of such divisiveness, I gotta say, it's a breath of fresh air. The constant yelling over who is right and who is wrong while villainizing anyone who doesn't agree with us leads to wars, both verbal and physical. Certainly, this doesn't mean there isn't such thing as right or wrong, good or evil, and truth versus lies. But it is to say that in choosing to obsessively focus on division blinds us to the fundamental reality of commonality among all created by God. There is, in fact, a great value placed on the entire world by God as He so loved it that He gave up His one and only Son to open up eternity to every person who believes in Him, regardless of their language or culture. Truly, His salvation is for the common human without distinction between one sin or another. Which brings back another childhood song, Jesus Loves the Little Children. Like the small world theme song, you may now have it stuck in your head for the rest of the day, and I hope you do. Because one day, all those trusting in Jesus will be on God's version of the small world ride. There will be a common theme song, but it will be in many languages and sung by children from many different cultures. And this is a ride you don't want to miss. Listen to John who saw it in Revelation 7. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. It really is a small world after all. Let's pray. Lord God, we praise You and celebrate You for the work of Your creation. It is truly a marvel and it brings us wonderment as we behold the greatness of what you have created. And that includes you've created humans to place them in many different places throughout the world with many different languages, many different cultural practices, and yet you died for each and every one of them. Would you remind us that even though there are so many things that could divide us, would you help us to also recognize that there's a commonality and that in celebrating that we are celebrating you the creator and the heart that you give to your people would you please give to us an opportunity to share with those who don't know you that we have a common search and quest for an abundant life and peace and joy and that that's found in you in jesus name we pray amen